my whole brain is rearranging And I feel like the world is the dirt beneath my feet Hello, random person on the internet who has nothing else to do but watch videos on YouTube. Super here. Or maybe not so random anymore since you very well might be subscribed if you're watching this. By the way, uh, numbers on screen, make sure you're subscribed. Yes, after three years on YouTube, I finally hit 1,000 subscribers. My goal for this year was 500, and I got twice that in less than 12 months. 2020 has been terrible for me overall. Some parts are my fault, I will admit that. Others not so much, but I think we can all agree that this year has overall sucked. That's why I'm thankful I have a genuine fan base now. Even if in the grander scheme of things, it might seem small. To think a catboy has gotten me this far on this platform is really funny, but well, it happened. There are a few people who I want to shout out simply because they helped me out a lot and I genuinely appreciate them. First off, Mocha, who in case you didn't know is my best friend. Thank you for continuing to tolerate my constant bullshit and stupidity. You're the person who I've kept in contact with the longest on the internet and I'm really excited to meet up with you again. DM and Flox, who have grown with me since my days on the wretched Minecraft forum we all met on. Thank you especially for dealing with my bullshit. Jason, thank you for being one of the kindest individuals I know, even though you get in a bit over your head sometimes. Custom, thank you for helping me get clients and hiring me to work for you. JB, thank you for constantly being there for me and also hiring me. The two of you have helped me get work in a time where it's been very difficult for me to find any uh, because of the word I can't say because I'm pretty sure that'll get me blacklisted from the algorithm. It's K9. Thank you for supporting my channel for this long and giving me the confidence to continue even after my smash days. Also, you all should really check out his channel. He's hilarious and makes very high quality stuff. Finally, all my subscribers, whether you've watched all my videos, shared my stuff, or just seen a video or two of mine and thought it'd be worth it to stick around, thank you for giving me the chance to prove myself. Okay, not done with this happy sh**. Here's the tone to I promised in the title. Hello, everybody. You are seeing my tone in the middle of winter. As you can see, I have my little sweater on. Before you think, oh, I've seen everything this person's tone has to offer, I'm gonna say this right now. You have not. So, I have done a lot of work, and uh, as you can see already, first off, I guess let me show you my house. This is my little living area. Um, it's very warm, very cozy. I have it almost like someone you know who lives in like the middle of the woods, you know, like they have all their little achievements. And um, I found out that the Thanksgiving furniture actually works really well with this theme, which is why a lot of this has changed because it looks really nice with it. Now, if we go back here, you will see my room. Honestly, if I'm being completely real with you, um, it's a bit of a work in progress still. I don't even have a lot of my updated records here yet. There's Igor, After Hours, aka one of my favorite albums, if not my current favorite album ever. Got to Pimp a Butterfly, Good Kid, Mad City. I honestly forget what this one is. Like, I just remember Sober. I just like the album art, so I stuck it up there for now. Camp, Yay, Kidsy Ghosts, and The College Dropout. Got myself a little fishy here. My little vinyl area and my bed. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. And I like it a lot. Now, if I make my way over here, you'll see my bathroom. Which, again, kind of still has that warm and cozy vibe, only, you know, it's a lot more- a lot more bamboo. Uh, this toilet's a bit out of place, but what are you gonna do about it? I remember getting this, I think, from the- yeah, it's the bug cage. Wait, this counts as a- this counts as a wardrobe? <laughs> 
Well, that would be weird to get dressed in. I literally did not know that until I accidentally pressed A. We got some really nice flags. Yeah, I really like this room. I redid this a while ago. But over here is something a lot more recent. You see, uh, over here, if you remember, this has been like my storage room for like the longest time. But now, if you go into it, we have ourselves like a little garden area almost, like Almost like a little forest with like the light up shrooms. By the way, I have all the mush furniture. I have a lot of the fall recipes. But I just, I felt like this was such a cool room idea that I had to do it. See, like there's a little log here that looks like a fallen down tree. You have like the workbench. It, it, it's just so cool. Like, I love it so much. And you got the leaves on the ground. Like, it's so nice. Like, it's probably my favorite room now. I actually do not have an upstairs right now. And you might be wondering, what about the Danny DeVito shrine? That's not there anymore. And you'll see why soon. But down here as the final room in my house, we have the basement bar area with like the cherries. The cherry lights but you have like a little clock over there some lights nice sign i really love the aesthetic of this room though i can't really come down here often because it's so fucking noisy so yeah but up there that room's just empty so let's let's exit let's exit and you probably already guessed like oh wow you've gotten a lot of work done i added uh cobblestone flooring over here to like the area with my pool i've added so many trees over here with a little heart pond i just wanted a pond a little snowman and you might be wondering huh i thought you only lived here and the thing is i am i just made an alternate account so danny devito has his own proper shrine or church that everybody can worship and uh behind there Oh, that's just where I store my DIYs now. So they're not all constantly on the beach. So it won't really be counted against me anymore. I've added like a lot of pretty lights with like all the trees. Uh, some occasional mushrooms. And some, at least formerly alive people. Having a little trip here. Very nice. Oh, they're having fun. A lot of my flowers have been moved to like an area where you can't really see them. Over here is my little dining area which is outdoors so this is more of a restaurant than anything else but it's very nice got my little jukebox of course business is pretty slow now considering it's snowing but you know if anybody ever wants to eat out there they can go over here there's more forest got myself another little log area here it's very nice my little pumpkin farm and up here uh so this is where i keep some of my flowers and also uh these are all my money trees these are all my uh fruit trees some of which i've harvested so i need a nook mile points for my other thing but i have them all listed there with little pixel art of all the fruits so let's make our way down here as in c a lot of this area if you haven't seen my town before, it's lined up with these pretty, pretty lights. And they are very pretty. And I like them a lot. Over here, it's just a very simple fountain area with a bunch of flowers. It's very pretty. Over here, have a little, like, mushroom forest almost. It's not really a, much of a forest, but it's nice nonetheless. But let's go back down here. Over here is our town hall with our lovely little flag. I personally like it a lot still, and it's very pretty this time of year. Now, if we make our way over here, we have the museum. I could go through the museum, but like, you don't wanna see all that. You, you don't. Just know that I have a lot collected. My little campsite, Able Sisters, and the Nook store. Uh, Nook's Cranny with its little we're open sign, even though it's not, so yeah. The reason I'm recording this at, at night, you're not moving out. Goodbye. The reason why uh, I'm recording this at night is because my town's a lot prettier at night. That's why I changed my time back, because right now it's like 10. Normally, uh, nowadays, I keep my uh, time set at like a few hours before because... I chose not to live in the Southern Hemisphere, but I mostly record during nighttime. So 
I need to be able to do stuff, so I normally have my time set. So, like, all the way back there. Anyways, we have ourselves a nice bonfire. Um, oh yeah! Oh yeah, I forgot. Right down here, have just, like, some nice little areas, like, little swing, and some summer fun, even though it's in the middle of winter. Yeah, bonfire. The area changes, if you hadn't noticed yet. Like, it changes from, uh, like, purple slash bluish to a pink and green thing when you get to, like, the villagers' houses, because they're all over here. Over here, we have, like, our nice little radio area where people relax. Like, you got your hammock, you got a surfboard, radio, little talk area. It's very nice, very nice. This is Texas House, Frigia, that's Truffles, that's Raymond's, that's Flo's, that's Boomer's, that's Iggly's, that's uh, Cubes, that's Puck's, and this over here is Rolls. And uh, I have this little nice carpet leading to everywhere. And finally is my uh, Etika Memorial. Uh, which has been here the entire time I've had this game, pretty much, so. Rest in peace. But, th that concludes my tour. Very nice quality, and, uh, that might actually be one of the last times you'll ever see Raymond, because I'm planning on moving him out soon. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed that town tour, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and you can stop at any time. If you want to take a look at it for yourself, here's my town's dream code. Send me screenshots of you exploring it on Twitter or Discord. Both of my are in the description below. Alrighty, with all that being said, thank you all and see ya.